Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today's video tutorial is a screen of the day by Fluffin called Holo UI. So let's see why this screen got so many likes. Hmm? This home screen is perfect if you want a simple, clean Google experience on your phone. Starting from the top, we've got this very Google type search bar. By tapping it will bring up your search. Going back, we'll see below it, it's got this really good looking UCCW clock that actually looks like the Android 4.2 clock, as well as your little user icon that you can change if you want. Below that, we've got our awesome looking eye in the sky weather widget that you can change locations if you prefer. Going down, we can see we've got our social icons as well as our general icons if you want, as well as keeping little a little draw on the side there if you really want to. And finally below we got these very cool looking Android icons bringing up our app drawer as well as our phone and messaging. So if you like Android and you like what you see, well let us begin with today's video tutorial. Okay so starting from a stock Apex launcher, now Apex launcher was used simply because Nova launcher cannot do it and we don't think Holo launcher can do it either. So starting with our Apex settings we're going to go options, Apex settings and you want to go into our home screen settings. Okay, so first we're going to go into our portrait grid. Now originally this home screen was designed for a Nexus 4. So if you have a Nexus 4, an 8x7 grid works really well. But because this is a Galaxy S2, a 9x7 works good. So depending on what phone you have, you might have to change the rows and columns. So we're going to go OK there. Now vertical margin was made large simply to put all the icons higher. So if you have an Nexus 4, you don't have to do that. But for most phones, keep it at large or medium. Icon size now. Now because you wanted to have smaller icons, this is where Apex steps up to the plate because with Nova, you can't resize your icons. So Apex does really well in this as you can make them 80% instead of 100% so they don't look so squished together. So we're gonna go okay. Manage screens, you just want one screen and you can just scroll to the bottom and you want it enable hide notification bar, hide shadows and hide icon labels. We're going to go back now, into, go into our dock. You want to scroll down and you want to hide the dock. You don't really need it. You can have one if you want, but you can always take it off. Next, you want to go into behavior settings. For your gestures, it's always a good thing to have is to double tap or swipe up or swipe down to show your notification bar at the top. Unless you really want one, but then you might have to modify your wallpaper. So we're going to go back now. Next, we'll go into theme settings. Now, a good thing to do is to download and install the minimal MIUI, 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 however you want to say it, but this icon pack is really good and it's the ones that are used in this theme. So you want to, you might want to download those and just install them. Once you've downloaded them from the Play Store, you just want to select them in here and you want to go apply. You might want to only select the icon pack, but it doesn't really matter. Cool, so we're gonna go back now. Finally, we're going to advanced settings. Scroll to widget settings, select overlapping widgets, and don't forget to resize any widgets. Next, we wanna go back, and there we have our Apex settings complete. We wanna go back again, and everything will be set up like this. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the wallpaper. Now, for this wallpaper, it was designed for the Nexus 4 with the navigation bar enabled. So I'm just gonna be giving you a quick Photoshop tutorial on how to do some cropping and resizing just to make things move around and make them look good for your phone. So let's head over to the computer. Okay, so from the very beginning, you wanna download the file that Fluffin has provided and then extract it and then open up the folder called PSD, which is inside the folder. You want to double click on the Holo UI PSD and then open it up in Photoshop where it should look like this. Great. Now, as you can see, the, the black bar at the top and at the bottom is for Nexus's for navigation bar and status bar at the top. So now if you have a phone, say a Galaxy S3 or Galaxy S2 that do not have navigation bars or if you don't want this black bar at the top, you want to start by selecting the crop tool here and you want to just snap it down to the edges of that of the top and the bottom there just so it snaps on like this and when you go select it click the tick at the top it'll now get rid of the black bars you just select the tick now to get rid of the crop action and there we have your screen basically now the next thing you want to do is to resize it so it fits your phone quite well so you want to select image at the top here you want to go to image size and now you want to change the width and height to the width and height of your phone which is in pixels so for in galaxy s2 the width would be 480 height would be 800 
you click OK and now it'll resize it to fit your phone. Next thing you want to do is you want to now the most important part here is your layers which will be on the right hand side. They give you access to all of these allowing you to mod modify anything on the screen. So when you select an eye it makes something invisible. So we can get rid of Fluffin's text here and we can start moving on to the other stuff. So next we want to be adding in your photo which is quite easy to do. You just need to find any image that you want to use for your user icon. Just drag it onto the top here and then hold in shift and select a top corner or bottom corner or just any corner and just get it into the center there like that. Once you like it the way it is, you want to select the tick. You want to select the selection tool again, the rectangular marquee tool. And you just want to go over that square. Right click on it, say layer via copy. As you can see, a new layer has now appeared. From here, you want to deselect the image one that you've dragged onto your phone originally like that or make it invisible and there you have your icon set up like that your little user icon once that's been set up you can start dragging in the icons that have been provided these can be found in the main folder in icons like as shown here so say for the search bar you just want to drag it like this like that and then just resize it holding down shift and dragging in a corner drag it to the height or size that you want and then select the tick and it will resize like that. Next if you want to edit this text you don't want it to say example see now the example text has been selected you want to double click on the text icon make sure that you have Roboto regular installed and then type in any text that you would want and then as always just select the tick and it'll be set up you can always just drag it a bit further now so it looks like that now once you've added in the icon, say for this one here, as well as your menu icons on the side, as well as for the bottom ones, the next thing you want to do is I'd recommend saving this as a PNG, putting it onto your phone and then see how your icons line up in this action bar right here. If we go to the other one that I've created and you open up the screenshot like this, you can see that the icons here, they don't fit too well. As you can see, they're a bit lower than this top bar right here. So what I recommend you do is Select, the nav select this, select the, the rectangular marquee tool, merge the action bar and the background. To do that, simply move them together into the same folder. Select both of them holding down shift, right click, merge layers. Doing that will now allow you to select your rectangular marquee tool. Select this top line, right click on it. Make sure you have the icon background or the new layer that you've merged selected right click on it and then say layer via copy so remember this whole thing you just select it now and this will allow you to quite roughly move it to the position that you want remember you can use these guides as your guide so say if you just want your icon to be a little bit less you just select this now again and then just move it down onto that layer if you want to get it to be exactly the way you want it you want to go into you want to drag a screenshot with your icons like I've showed you here and then you just want to select your opacity and make it a little less transparent this screenshot so as you can see these icons if you want to this top bar that you have here as you can see it's a little bit too high so we just want to drag it down a bit to that line that I've created now and then it should look a lot better. And you wanna go file, save as, and then save it as a PNG, and then copy this to your phone. And this will be, hopefully, once you've corrected the icons to make them fit properly, will be the perfect background for your phone. Let's move back to the board. All right, once you've saved the wallpaper and copied it to your phone, you wanna hold down on your home screen, select wallpapers, I always like going quick pick wallpaper. Once you've found the wallpaper that you've copied to your phone, you wanna go options, set as, quick pick wallpaper and you just want to go save hopefully it should be fitting your entire screen and then boom there it is great so that was the hard part out of the way now next is just adding in your icons as well as your widgets okay so starting off with the icons we're going to start off with the app draw icon at the bottom there you want to hold down on the home screen select your apex actions you want to select the app draw and then just drag it over the app draw there so you want to hold down now select edit on the icon Select the icon, select picture, 
select quick pick or whatever your preferred gallery is find your blank png that you've copied to your phone select it and then go ok now you have a blank icon like this now you want to repeat the steps for both phone and your messaging or your email but now i'm going to be showing you how to add in icons in general so you want to open up your app drawer find a folder or icon that you want so let's say the file explorer and then we can just move it there but now we want to get it in place boom it should line up but obviously if it doesn't line up you might have to resize these bars as shown earlier so now you want to add in each one of your preferred icons so what i'll be doing now is filling up both these rows with icons and making all of these blank pngs great so there we have all of our icons set up don't worry if you don't like any of them you can just hold them down and drag them into remove and then just add another one that you prefer next we'll be moving on to iron sky weather which is very easy to add it's that weather widget right here you want to hold down select widgets you want to scroll to iron, iron sky and you want to select cities it's the four by two one for icons you want to select clean you can add in cities if you want and you then you take off show edit dots and show refresh if you prefer you can always just leave them in if you want to edit them later always remember to make your text color black go okay there it is and obviously it's you just have to resize it so you just want to hold down select resize resize like that there we have our iron sky weather set up iron sky weather set up sorry and next you want to be adding in the uccw widget over here now there has been uccw widgets provided we're going to hold down select widgets and scroll to uccw but there have been compatibility issues with android 4.2 or custom roms I'm not too sure but they did not work on mine so I just created a custom one so if you don't have a custom ROM or you're not running the latest Android what you do is select two UCCW 2x1 skins and then do the same procedure for here so for the modified one you will select a 5x2 and then you want to go open use zip so here are the two skins that I'd recommend importing but obviously if they show up with a white box then you want to go into the modified one that you've copied to your phone so whichever one works best for you, you want to select it in that open user file and it'll, you just need to tap the hand and it should load up. So like I said, if it gives you a white box, then use the modified one. If not, stick with the ones that have been recreated. And you should get a UCCW skin looking similar to this. As you can see, this is just one UCCW skin, but for the other ones, you're going to have to add it in twice for the clock and the date. Cool. So once the UCCW skin skin's been set up, you're going to be moving on to the top search bar. Okay, so for the top search bar, there's two ways of doing it. First, if you have your Apex Launcher Pro version, you can resize the UCCW skin to be a bit smaller and then hold down the home screen, select widgets, add in a desktop visualizer, go for a four by one. Here, you just want to resize it now like that. You want to open it up, select icon, image file, go into your quick pick and go into the blank PNG select action you want to go launch application go into your google now you want to clear the label take off touch effect if you want and then go okay so that's pretty cool that's set up so once you do that you just go have to resize uccw over it by holding down select resize and it should be like that so when you tap anywhere in the search at the top opens up your search now if you have the free version you can just make your uccw the top of the app a hotspot so you want to go select object hotspots there's your first one you move it around so change the width and then just select it a bit wider there and then select your hotspots select an app select google search and you want to go options hotspots mode on so that'll do the exact same thing when you just select up there it'll bring up the google search so you're just going to have a little blue effect over there boom and there we have our home screen complete as well as our video tutorial complete thank you very much guys for watching please remember to subscribe to the youtube channel of my color screen check out our my color screen website and don't forget to join the facebook and twitter community thank you very much guys for watching this is marco from my color screen and i'll see you around next time mm -hmm.